everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and today we are here to make this terrific little dog bone Christmas stocking for the dog in your life. Yes, your puppy deserves a Christmas stocking too, and this dog bone shaped Christmas stocking is just perfect for that little best friend in your life. And this little dog bone has a hanger that you can hang it up along with the rest of your um, Christmas stockings so that your best friend can have a nice Christmas too. And this is a beginner sewing project that anyone can make in no time at all. It is a super simple sewing project. I urge everybody who has a little best friend uh, to make one of these and hang it up with the rest of their stockings this year. You won't, you'll be glad that you did. You definitely won't regret it. Super simple. I hope that you enjoy this project uh, this week and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you do. And um, let's get started on how to make this fantastic little project. So what do we need? We need a pattern and our pattern looks like a half a bone and I am going to put the link to the pattern in the description section of the uh, video so that you can just download this pattern and tape it together uh, and it will look like a half a bone and what you're going to do is you are going to place your half a bone on the fold of your fabric and then you're going to cut it out and you're going to cut out two of your outer pieces and two lining pieces and two pieces of fusible fleece and I chose Pellon TP971F but you can choose any kind of fusible fleece for this project. Uh, I'm not going to cut out this fabric for you, I've already done it as you can see from this one it was cut right on the fold and when you unfold it you get a dog bone shape just like that and you've got two outer fabrics two lining fabrics and two fusible fleeces so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to fuse our fleece all we need to do is take our outer fabric and I got this really adorable little dog print a uh, Christmas dog print from Joann's and um, that I'm going to use for my outer fabric and I'm going to place my interfacing my fusible fleece onto the wrong side of my outer fabric and what you will notice about your fusible fleece is there's going to be a bumpy side and a smooth side the bumpy side actually has glue on it and you're going to place the bumpy side down onto the wrong side or the ugly side of your fabric and you're going to press it with a hot iron and what that going to do is it's going to melt that glue and it's these two pieces of fabric are going to fuse together so that you can treat them as one and it'll give this dog bone stocking a little more structure than if you just use the fabric alone so I'm gonna head over to my iron and I am going to fuse my fleece to both of my outer pieces of fabric and I'm going to come back and we're going to go to our next step. Okay, we have fused our fleece onto our out back side of our fabric. And now we are simply going to move on to our next step. And that is we are going to place these two pieces right sides together. So the pretty side of our fabric is facing each other. 
and we are going to place some pins right here kind of at the top corner if you will just like that because we are going to stitch starting at these corners and we want to leave this open and we are going to stitch all the way around this bone all the way to the bottom so stitch from one side all the way down all the way around and stop at the other side so there's just sort of a little heart shape that's where we're we're going to leave our opening so that we can put our little uh, best friends treats and toys in for this Christmas now if you're a beginner sewist I would recommend that you pin the rest of this so that it's more stable but I'm not going to do that there's really no need uh, to do that if you're a more experienced sewist you won't need to pin this um, but you do want to make sure that you pin these upper portions so you know where to stop and start your um, your stitching and we're going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance for this and while we are at the sewing machine we are going to take our lining pieces and I have this cute little red green and silver dot and we're going to place those right sides together and we're going to do exactly the same thing we are going to place identical marks in the top corner here so we know where to start and stop the difference being on the lining is on one side it doesn't matter which we are going to leave an opening and that's so that we can turn this right sides out once we are in a further step so we need to make sure that we have an opening in this side so that we can uh, turn our project later so I'm gonna head over to the sewing machine right now and I'm going to stitch up both of these bones and then we are going to move on to our next step okay here we are at the sewing machine and we are going to stitch our outer fabrics and our lining fabrics together using a one quarter inch seam allowance now I am uh, using a one quarter inch foot on my machine so I'm just going to use the width of my foot to uh, stitch this but if you don't have a one quarter inch foot just use the markings on your machine and go with that so here we are we're going to start at this pin and we're going to take this out so we don't stitch on it and we're going to stitch all the way around
there's our outer piece. And now we're just going to stitch our lining piece. going to leave our opening start up here a little ways our lining with our opening on the side. Now let's head back over to our cutting table and we are going to show you the next step. Okay we have our two pieces. We are going to turn our outer piece right sides out. Just reach inside, pull out the bottom, Easy peasy. And as you can see, we are getting our bone shape together. But now we have to make our little hanger piece. And that is very simple to do. We are going to take a piece of fabric. I used our outer fabric for this. And it is three inches wide by eight inches long. And we are simply going to Fold the long edges into the center like that. Whoops, like that, and then fold it in half again. Press it with a hot iron and top stitch right along both edges. So I'm going to run over to the sewing machine and take care of that, and then we're going to add our hanger to our project and move on to our next step. Okay, so there's our little hanger, and now we are going to place this hanger on whatever side you want. It doesn't really matter. 
just here on one of the corners. can pin it just like that so it's hanging down that way. I'm going to run over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to baste this just across here to keep it in place while we move on to our next step. Okay, so I've done that. No reason to show it on camera. Now we are going to place our outer bone into our lining bone so that they are right sides together. So you'll notice that I did not turn our lining bone right sides out. I kept it so that it's wrong sides out so that when I put the, the outer bone inside, the fabrics are right sides together. Make sure that this hanger is hanging down in between the two layers. We are going to match up these seams. And we are going to pin these raw edges together. making sure that these points meet each other. Now, if you're a beginner sewist, you may want to put more pins in this than what I'm doing. I'm just going to put four, um, but you may want to put more. I put them on the ends and in the at the points of the uh, the bone shape. And we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch all the way around the edge of this top part of our bone. Now this is going to be a little bit fidgety so I'm going to show you on camera how to go about doing that. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, we are back here at the sewing machine. And as you can see, I have taken off my sewing machine table and I have, um, I am just going to use my free arm to make this a bit easier. And I'm actually going to start stitching this at the point of our bone. Again, I'm going to be using a one quarter inch seam allowance. Now you're going to have to continually move this fabric along um, because it's not naturally going to turn around because it's not very uh, wide. So you're going to be moving it along as you stitch. And remember to take these pins out as you go. Make sure these raw edges are lined up.
Okay, and that's it. And we have sewn our top part of our bone. So let's move over to our uh, cutting table and finish this project off. Okay, so here we are and we have stitched the top part of our bone. Now we are going to reach inside our opening in the lining and pull out our outer bone and continue to pull that out until it's all the way out. This is a very simple process. There you have it. And now you have two bones on either end but you have this opening. What I am going to recommend is that you stitch this opening closed using ladder stitch. I am not going to show you how to do ladder stitch in this video. Um, it's much too difficult um, to show using white fabric, to be honest. Um, but there are a ton of videos on YouTube to show you how to use ladder stitch. Um, so I would recommend that you go to one of those videos on how to do it. It's very simple stitch to do, but using white thread on white fabric is going to be uh, a difficult proposition here. Um, so just stitch that up, and once you've stitched that up, you are going to just push your lining inside of your outer bone. Notice that your hanger is now sticking up so that you can hang it proudly alongside your family's, uh, rest of your family's stockings and you are ready to go. How simple was that? A very easy dog bone Christmas stocking for the best friend in your life. Super simple. Definitely give this project a try. I hope you enjoyed it. It was an easy one and uh, definitely worth the effort to make this one for your best friend. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget uh, to head over to www.soverycrafty.com for lots more sewing uh, tutorials and uh, videos on how to do uh, all kinds of sewing and crafting projects. So thank you all and have a merry, merry Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.